Hey guys, welcome back to Infinity Blade Masters. This is Tywin. I'm going to show you today some good tips on how to beat the Worker of Secrets and Radriar in the final battles in Act 5. For those of you that made it to the end of the game, you know that in Act 5 you get to play as both Issa and as Cyrus. And there are two final boss battles. The first one will be with Radriar, and then the final showdown will be Cyrus versus the Worker of Secrets. Um, so sit back, enjoy the cutscenes a little bit, and I'll be back in a minute to talk about the fight. Welcome, Alsar. My failed experiment. And to the beginning of my new future. All this. The dragons arming the deathless. It was like before. Just chaos to cover this. This. What's wrong, Alsar? That troublesome memory of yours. I know who I am. You have no idea who you are or what you've done. I will soon burn this world, Alsar. Are you going to burn with it? Or have you finally come to beg forgiveness for your betrayal? You're insane. I think not. But you will come to understand true insanity when your quantum pattern drifts aimlessly about this smoldering world with no body to return to. You'll never get the chance. If you think that toy will kill me, then you're an even bigger fool than I realized. Kill him, but leave him to revive. He has far more suffering yet to come. When you're finished, join me on the Ark. Yes, my lord. I'll handle him. You go after the worker. What are you waiting for? Go! All right, so here's my tip for beating Radriar. Have a healing ring equipped. Use the strongest dual weapon that you have or that you can afford. Make sure you have the super skill upgraded on both characters so that you, you can gain super by getting hit, but also by hitting them. And then if you need to equip any elemental defense that may be necessary. <laughs>
Enough! You never did know when to quit. We end this now. All right, so we got past Radriar. Now we get to play as Cyrus and take on Galath, aka the Worker of Secrets. Remember to equip a healing ring. Make sure your super is upgraded on both characters. Obviously, if it already is uh, when you fight Radriar, it already will be when you fight the Worker of Secrets. But my recomm recommendation here, instead of buying the best dual weapon you can, buy the best heavy weapon you can. Uh, the reason for this is the Worker of Secrets has an uncrackable, at least so far, we haven't found a way to crack it. He has a step back where he does a, a downward X motion at you with uh, dual. We have not found a way yet to successfully crack it. So using dual can give you some problems. So I would use light or heavy until we find a way to crack it. Um, but heavy is the best because of its increased power output. So go ahead and watch the fight now with Galath, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, there you have it. Those are uh, some pro tips for beating the Radriar, or beating Radriar and the Worker of Secrets. If you guys are having trouble, 
Of course, when I fought them, this was on my first playthrough, and Cyrus. they were lower levels than you will see in the future. But these tips will hold true at any level. Uh, stay tuned. Um, eventually, we'll figure out, hopefully, how to crack the downward X. I'm sure Sab or Tam will find a way since they are the dual masters. As for myself, I'll stick with Heavy since Heavy uh, is on the Heavy Master and Heavy is the most effective weapon against the Worker of Secrets. Um, although I do find Duel to be uh, very, very effective against Rapier. Uh, the Worker of Secrets is best taken down with Heavy if you can, or Light if you cannot use Heavy, um, because they can block that Downward X attack. So now we're watching a really, really cheesy ending. Reminds me of like, a Final Fantasy ending, kind of a Japanese RPG type weird cheesy cutscene going on. I expected a little bit more from Chair, but it's all good. They wanted to end the trilogy on a happy note. Uh, so all the characters you meet throughout the game are sitting here celebrating. Um, although it would, it, it would mean a lot more if they actually made you care about the characters. Uh, you really don't ever get to know your allies on any kind of emotional level. So the cheesy emotional final cutscene by the fire really loses a lot of its power. Uh, for a game that is so heavy on story, they really didn't uh, do a good job of making you care about any other character besides uh, Cyrus. They even really didn't really, they really didn't even make you care about Issa. Uh, she almost feels like a footnote to this game. Although she's a lot of fun to play with, uh, she doesn't feel fully developed. Her character is developed more in Infinity Blade Redemption, obviously, but they did not do a great job of carrying that development through to the game. Which is okay because the this trilogy was Cyrus's story. Uh, not Isis. So come, now we're coming here halfway through the credits. There is a secret cutscene. Not really a secret, but if you watch the entire cutscene, cut all the credits all the way through, you come to this cutscene here. Which showed a little boy on the beach with Cyrus and Isa. You can assume that it's their child. Or child that they're going to raise together. He's playing on the beach, making a sand castle that is in the shape of uh, where the worker of secrets had the ark stored. Uh, this is because when Cyrus put that redeemer device into the Infinity Blade, and we saw the flash of light on the worker of secrets. It erased his memory, and he was reborn as a child, which sets it up, which sets the game up for you know any future sequels they wanted to do, uh, or just it really ends it on a uh, ambiguous note. You know, is the worker of secrets the child? Uh, does he have his memories? Will he grow up to be good or evil? You know, all that jazz. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we'll be back soon. Uh, to bring you great content. We're always bringing you fresh Infinity Blade content on this channel, so please subscribe to the Infinity Blade Masters. Uh, some of us have our own channels. You may subscribe to them as well. Uh, until next time, everyone, this is Tywin. Peace.